in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got my Lenovo G510, a very old laptop from 2014, to support multi touch gestures on the um, mouse pad, on the trackpad here. And when I bought this laptop, it was mentioned that this uh, trackpad supports multi touch, but I just never got around to using that. By chance, I was navigating and just researching a bit more about this. And I found this page on the Lenovo forums and it mentioned the use of this Lenovo drivers to enable multi-touch. So I went to that page and I found under the mouse, pen and keyboard, uh, the download link for this uh, driver. I downloaded it to my computer and then I installed it. And this gives uh, another extra option to your mouse settings. So if we go to control panel, then mouse, and you can see that here you, you have this device settings, which didn't exist before. So let's go to settings and let's see what this can do. So you have a possibility as normal to use one finger and you can see this section here of the trackpad is sensitive for scrolling. So you could basically use it. You can see it activate on the screen. You could use it to scroll. Okay. It looks like the base is not activated, but this is, and you can use it to scroll up and down pages. The multi finger is what, um, attracted me to this and basically made me research it because when I'm browsing, if I sometimes want to make the page bigger or smaller, I will have to use my mouse and come down here and then go down using this plus or minus, or I was going to need to hold down control and then use the mouse scroll wheel and with the mouse scroll wheel up or down to, to scroll down, to um, zoom in or out. But now using the Synapsix driver, I can simply use two fingers to zoom in and out. And this makes things much, much easier. Now it's not the smoothest system, but you can imagine this is a very old laptop with, uh, it's not even Windows 10, so it's not very advanced for this, but for 2014, it was pretty much pretty advanced. So let's see what else I can do. I can use two fingers to scroll. Which is very, very cool. I could also scroll with one finger, like I said, mentioned before, you can see on this scroll sensitive section. And I could also pull from here to have the gestures to have the Windows 8 charms. And sometimes this may come in handy if I want to just quickly take a look at the date and time. For images, same thing. Zoom in. And now I'm from an awkward angle, so obviously it's not as smooth as it should be, but it works. And uh, the cool thing about these gestures is that they also su support rotation. So there are sometimes maybe I make an, a picture and it's uh, vertical. I want to make it horizontal. So you could you hold on one side and then you basically rotate like this. Okay, now I get the hang of it. You have to basically practice a bit and then it becomes much easier. In, in the setting here, you could basically have everything set the way that you want. If you want the speed of the scrolling when you're 
using this scroll sensitive part. Palm tracking, the sensitivity. The zoom in speed. Enable rotation and this is the rotation of uh, the image like I just showed you now. And so if your computer is from a, an old period of time, but still supports Synaptix drivers, then just take a look and see if you can download and install them. Because once you get the gestures on, on your laptop, it really helps speed up work and especially for zooming in and out, for scrolling. Scrolling is very, very useful because before I had to take use the arrow keys or I had to go with the cursor and grab onto this, the scroll bar, hold, push down to hold it and then scroll. That's about three steps that are totally eliminated by just simply scrolling like this. And it gives a little bit of class and more usefulness to the computer. So I hope this helps you. If you're lucky, your old laptop supports Synapsix drivers and multi-touch, then you could have uh, this additional feature added to it by following the instructions in this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.